I, you know, I wrote a book called Homeworthy, How to Buy Your Dream Home with Ease. And I wrote it specifically for single women who are thinking about buying their own place. And the reason why I did this is because of years of experience of doing it myself, my friends, but also helping clients do it. And I started to notice that there was a massive difference between the women that were successful and those who tried and were unsuccessful. And the massive difference wasn't about money or budget or where they lived or who they were. The massive difference is their mindset. So this is something that people don't talk about. And it's so crucial. And I wrote the book specifically about women and specifically about real estate, because that's my wheelhouse. But these tools, this knowledge, these activities can help anyone in any aspect of their lives. So why do I want you to read this book? The book is full of great stuff that I've learned from other people, other books. Like one of my favorite books is Think and Grow Rich. It's a really old book. I think it was published in 1937. And this is my book, by the way. And then I realized that even with Think and Grow Rich, I mean, this book has been around and, and people tout it as like a virtual Bible and people read it and say, oh, I've read that book. And then they never pick it up again. But that's not what the purpose of the book is. The purpose of that book and mine is that you read it repeatedly because the work that you do, and it is work, um, you're going to have to do every day for the rest of your life. I mean, I, I'm doing it every day and sometimes I slip and I fall. It's like a garden, right? You do your gardening on, on Saturday. And if you don't go back out there for three Saturdays later, it's full of weeds. And that's what happens with us because our natural tendency is to go and slip into the negative, right? We slip away from what we know is good for us and serves us well. And we go just instinctively or not instinctively, just naturally, maybe we're taught this. I don't know what it is or why, but it's very well known that our default is not what serves us best. So this work is not something you read once and put on the shelf. That's shelf help. I'm talking about self-help. And yes, I did say it's work. You want to buy your own place? There's work to be done. Oh no, I just want a magic pill. Well, you can just walk out today. And if you've got the financing, because you can just walk out today and go buy a place. But are you going to be doing it in the way that serves you in the best way? That's the question. So there's a lot of things you want to know. For example, why are you doing this? What do you really want? If you ask somebody, what do they want? A lot of times you'll stump them. First of all, most people don't care. <laughs> so if I ask you, hi, how are you? Most people don't even wait for the answer because they don't really care. But ask yourself, what do you really want? And then you have to understand why you want it. So what's like, why? Why, Sandra? Because if you don't understand why you want it, you may be just skimming the surface. So you have to go deeper. And once you go deeper, you will overcome any and all obstacles that come in your way. I mean, look at the wonderful things that have been achieved just in our lifetimes. Things that people said would never happen. Things that those inventors, for example, were told it'll never work, but they went ahead and did it because they believed in it. But they also had a driving force and that driving force was they understood why they wanted it. And that helped them overcome the tons of obstacles. So that's what we have to do. And like I said, this is not just about buying your own place. This, these tools, the system, the things you will learn, you'll become a different person and you will be able to address every obstacle in your life. And you will stop living a prescribed life. Oh, Jennifer, yes, we're going to prescribe this life for you. No, you don't have to live that. You can create your own destiny. You can change your destiny. I'm telling you this from the heart. I'm not going to help you. You have to do it yourself. This is where the work comes in. I can inspire you. That's what I hope to do. I'm inspired to inspire, but I can't do it for you. You have to do it. No harm, no foul, right? So when I wrote the book, I realized, well, people need more help than that. It's not just reading a book and maybe putting it down or re even rereading parts of it or the whole thing. So I designed an online course where I speak to you like this. I speak to you. I talk about many experiences I've had personally in real estate and also, you know, my friends and family. There are exercises in the course that will help you, for example, I mean, the first thing you need to know is what you want. And then why do you want it? 
And that may sound very, very basic, but if you don't do that part, then you don't have a solid foundation when you do start your journey to buy your own place. Listen, I think real estate is the best investment in the world. And right now, you know what? People are talking about, oh, real estate markets are going to crash. There's going to be a recession and all of this stuff. I still believe real estate is the best investment in the world. So what I hope that you do is that you will tune in, either pick up the book or, and, and actually we have a, a massive sale right now. If you go to sandrinamato.com, you can get the course and then get the book half price. And I mean, it's really super affordable. The course is 47 bucks and then you can get the book half price and I sign it. And so you could tell me who to write it out to. It would be my pleasure to do this. I just want to inspire you to create your own destiny. There's no need for you to live the life that somebody else says you should. So a lot more, I have a lot more to say about this. Also, please send me your questions because I want to hear what your thoughts are. I want to hear what your fears are. I want to hear what's motivating you. Let's celebrate. If you've already bought your own place, I want to hear about that. Let's celebrate your wins. Let's Let's really do this, guys. I want to hear what you have to say. I have a lot to say, but you're important. Hope to hear from you soon.